Hey guys, uh, got a quick video for you guys here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a, of a video response to a couple of questions I've been getting uh, from some of my subscribers. Um, and it just has to do, if you can't already tell, with, uh, with Oakley and uh, some glasses specifically. Um, I got a couple of questions when I did my Made in the USA um, video. Uh, I started out the video with these uh, these glasses right here, which is my it was my new pair of uh, Oakley radar uh, glasses with the G26 shooting specific lens, and um, just got a, some questions about what makes up a, a shooting specific lens. And uh, I'm reading this right off the uh, Oakley website. It says uh, target shooting specific lens for flat to medium light. Enhances orange in targets while increasing contrast against green, green and blue backgrounds. So um, I've got some questions from uh, one of my subscribers here, uh, Skull Lanyard. Uh, he was just uh, kind of asking, you know, well, you know, what what would these glasses be good for? And uh, in my opinion, these will be perfect for uh, outdoor shooting, uh, where either you're shooting up in the sky at uh, targets or skeet or you're shooting down below where you might have the green um, grass background or whatnot at orange targets. Um, so definitely for uh, outdoor ranges, uh, that particular lens um, is great for that. Now you ask, well, what if I'm in an indoor range and uh, you know I don't have you know green or blue background? Then what? Well. My suggestion, and this is, you know, from my personal experience, is what I use is these right here. This is a, um, it's a half jacket model with a uh, titanium clear lens. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Um, and what it is, it's, uh, it says titanium on the bottom of the lens, and it's not focusing. But um, what it is, it's a, um, it's a clear lens with a mirrored or what Oakley calls iridium coating on it which actually helps with uh, a bit of the glare um, you might get from uh, fluorescent lights let's say in an indoor range um, but it also gives you the uh, the impact resistant protection that all Oakley lenses have which is uh, um, their impact resistant up to 102 miles an hour so that definitely will protect you against uh, any spent brass that might be flying towards your eyes um, maybe some ricochet depending on the caliber uh, it'll definitely protect you but um, that's that's why I recommend using these particular type of, uh, of glasses you know that is Oakley um, if you guys are interested you guys can go to oakley.com they have um, the videos of uh, what they put the lenses through in order to pass the tests and uh, things like that and they're uh, they're definitely very impressive you know it's, it's, it's a big eye-opener um, Another question that I had was, what is this, uh, this hydrophobic coating that I keep talking about on certain frames or certain lenses? And uh, basically, you know, I, I say, hey, you know, hydrophobic coating, that's, uh, it repels water, sweat, um, different materials, uh, fingerprints, uh, makes this, the, the lenses uh, less scratch prone, more scratch resistant, I should say. Uh, but what is, you know, what, what is that really all about? So what I have here is um, got here is uh, just um, a clipboard with a plain white piece of paper. This is actually the second time I'm shooting this video, so that's why you see the word there. Uh, this is just a plain sharpie, and uh, this is just to show you. I'll write it again that it is just a regular sharpie and a plain white paper. Um, it's not a trick sharpie or anything like that. And this thing you see here is actually a um, it, it, it's a uh, it's like a, a, a lens, um, it's a partition lens, I, I guess you could say it. Um, I don't know if you see it on the bottom there. It says uh, the other guy on the bottom. And then on the top there you see uh, Oakley Hydrophobic. And basically what this is, is um, it's just to, uh, to show you. Here's your Sharpie. Remember the bottom part is the one that says the other guy. So if you were to grab a Sharpie to a you know any other manufactured lens out there or even non hydrophobic Oakley Oakley lenses um, and you run it through that's what you're gonna get you get that permanent marker right on there and let me tell you it does not come off easy do it again so you can see see it's just regular sharpie again this is the paper okay now here's um, here's the hydrophobic side on the top what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the bottom 
and work my way up so you can see what happens, okay? So I'm starting on the other guy. See that? I didn't lift it up. And here, I'll just write on it. You guys can hear I'm writing on it, okay? See? Nothing. It repels the, uh, the actual Sharpie right off there. So, that's exactly what the hydrophobic is. Now, you know, yeah, you can say, well, you're doing it on that, um, on that particular uh, test lens there, but, you know, what if it was a real pair of glasses with a real tint or a real something on there? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my brand new pair of G26 lenses here. Okay? Sharpie. G26 lens. See that? Nothing. Run it through again. Nothing. Obviously, you got to be careful not to, to touch the frame because you will paint the frame. But as you can see, like new. So maybe not so much in a shooting sense, but more in a, uh, I would say, you know, uh, sports specific sense. Biking, riding, running, mountain biking. Great lenses, you know. I don't know how many of you have gotten sweat in your eye while you're doing any of these particular sports, but... Um, you know, if you can keep it off your lenses and not have to wipe them down, that's definitely uh, it's a good investment there. So, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I've been getting a lot of different questions, a lot of, uh, um, hey, can you suggest this or that for a particular sport or a particular task or something like that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I hope the people are enjoying the feedback I give them. So, um like I said before, you know, I, I got a pretty good collection, but not, not just glasses. You know, I have a lot of gear, as you guys can see back there. That's actually my, uh, my camera holder right there. Yes, it's an Oakley camera bag, or I'm sorry, camera case. Uh, I've got some watches. That's the Oakley Minute Machine there. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's a keychain. It's actually an, an Oakley Carabiner keychain. So if you guys have any questions about any Oakley gear or anything like that, feel free to let me know. And I hope this, uh, this video answers a couple questions and uh, maybe raises some more and uh, keeps it going. All right. Have a good night, guys. Thanks.